thula mamola le ntato na utlweletse mola a re ntato la mprofeta a re moduma ke re ke a re ko botse hore god of the church said she must be told o moduma ke re ke a re ko botse hore because nna ke na le nkane o tlo go bana le nna ko bo etseng which eh, that is o robala le na ka ko be eti whatever it means that she will die so I heard a very interesting audio from Sister Lemo, right? And I'm going to leave the full audio down in the description so you can go check it out over there. But on this video we are going to react to one of those audios that she got I think from Babu Koto and the Change Radio. And so this is one person who escaped ZCC doctrine and whatever cheers is going on over there. Ke hopola ka leto la ka ke ntsikile go suone in a journey when she was there. Ke le ka tlhaela ke taile. So this tile or this instruction came from a supposed prophet. Ba re ke tsa mai ko ke tsa mai ko dula ko mori. She must go stay there. And then ka tsa maya. Now these are very unique uh prophecies and so by unique i mean it's not just do this and go back to your life this can be life altering supposed prophecies gore ke bona gore nka be le gale nna ne ke ipotse gore ka nako ne ke le go ZCC ne ke le safe mara by that time she used to consider herself safe at ZCC but otherwise how how na bo safe ba selo ho le mola there is no safety there ba tla o tshwara ka ditailo ene o tla ipotse gore mo ya o na le modimo mo wa rapela mo o safe ka nte hai how na bo safe so they will give you this instruction and to give you this false security of feeling like you are in the right place or in the right church but in fact it's a trap Oh, ngile ka fiwa taelo re ke tsa maike e ko moria ko dula 3 weeks. So she was supposed to stay 3 weeks Ben Mai. Tsa maile ka dula 3 weeks ko moria. So she went and stayed. Ntse ke le ko moria ke dutse 3 weeks ntse re be re ka mola. While she's there, you know. Ka porofita. Na ke rene ke porofita ene. So she used to have this gift of prophecy. Like na na ko nentse ke le ko suone. Ne ke butsiwa hore. Like is aki di badimu ba ne ba le monna ba le khanyane le le badimu ne ba mpotsa gore ke badimu ba ba tlokofetseng Now listen to that that's a very weird thing to say badimu ba ba le on her the the ancestors that are over her of ZCC are those that are dead Now I don't understand why would they be your ancestors if they are of the church i thought your ancestors are are dealing with subject matters of lineage but in this case if you watch the video which we spoke about the doctrine of heaven when it comes to zcc this makes sense because neri like in tongue when they keep bulela if they want to tell like a bulela they want to kill they want to tell respond so ba prophet ba ba ngata ne ba mputsa hore na sidimusene ke se sene se le konna a se sa le ganyane o a phelang ke sa le ganyane o le a tlokofetse so the ancestors that were over here was not the ancestor of the current this is the leader it's of the one who passed like the OG so like nentse ke tseba ho bo sidimusene ke be re ka ka sona ke sa le ganyane wa tlokofetseng that's a very strange doctrine for a lot of people might not understand that that's strange that's not biblical that's foreign first of all you you are not carrying sidimu of a of a church We have the Holy Spirit. We are given the Holy Spirit in other ways. Not the ancestral God of a church. Three weeks here fell. So so now she was there for the three weeks. The three weeks ended and... What three weeks in your hair fell? When it ended. When it ended. When it ended Saturday. And then... I was going to go to Alexander on Sunday. And then... Like, so and then like, So she was now supposed to go back home and go back to Alexander where she works. Ke bere ke ile ka Saturday se o nentse ke porofeta motshare o tle and then late le 15 le tshoreng then ka tsama ka bona go di hostel. 
So how you feel like a hostel? So she's just explaining the logistics of where she was, what not. Ne, ne ke tshori tshela te like bo 150 ona mo bo 170. So she had money to bring her back. Well, I'm around. Ke batla tshela te ha ke bone, ke batla tshela te ha ke bone. She looked for the money she couldn't find it. Tshela te ha ithe. Ke batla tshela te ke a putukula ke butsa bo me ba ne ke dula le bona mola mo hostel. I have I won. Mm. So I can remember because I'm not going to say She even asked others who were there to say how. Did you see my my money or anything? And all of them, they're like, hey, you know, at Sisterhood, <laughs> we didn't see anything. And then if we take it to work, it's Sunday. It's a Zilla Calabo fellow again. And then last time, it's where we're saying... <clears throat> And then get okay, get a man, 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 get a get a man, get a 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 get so, so she takes her things, she gets ready and whatnot. She's done with what her assignment was, her prophecy was. Now she wants to go back. So when she entered the bus, Muprofita, this supposed prophet, comes up and calls her out. So he gets someone to come and listen in on the prophecy. That's how they do prophecies there. That's how I also got prophesied. There was someone, you know? The Feli, Mumuri. And then So she was supposed to now extend the days. So the three weeks has ended. She might have used their leave. They say no, you're actually supposed to stay. So it's a micro how. Tato Uri. So I left kids at home and I work and I'm being told that I must just stay here. She says no, I'm going. Tato la reatama uba to tama. Nagi if you want to go. And then can I go buses a man bus water? So her tell a mutiling I'm sure distance him and distance bus are stuck. The bus gets stuck. And the reason and a bus is stuck. One is the gile mutenele mutoka nuka. Bus is the gile huna le wana umunya neka mu basi. Wano lam sure I can know about Ira book grade two book grade three. Ki wana school umunyan. Wano la a small um, kid, maybe in grade three or something, starts being taken over by the spirit and supposedly starts prophesying. That's a very strange thing. <laughs> and so this child says, you know what, there's a stone in the inside here. Not only is there stone, there is also some soil or sand or whatever uh, from the, the headquarters of the church. And apparently you are not supposed to take things like that. Because... So she says, I can't remember if you did take water, but we do remember the coffee or the tea that they drink there. You could carry that going out. That's what they used to drink, the tea. So the water was a little the bus is stuck. So basically now, there is this prophecy that, hey, you are actually supposed to be back there. You're not supposed to come back. So now, that's the thing that comes up, right? But also, she starts considering or how. Maybe this is just a trick to get me back there. 
And there's something else that happens here. Ah, hi. So, you put this on my mama, mama, support of the one, hope of it, and one, I want to be the most I do one. Listen to this one, Maria, one, oh, when who claim of profit, our deep pala, and upper deep pala. So, apparently, this kid was prophesied when they were back at the church. Oh, Abba, profit, and one, all are come on and all are passed out of Mankayona in a limuka, Lilita Paramoha. So supposedly, now the, the the this lady with her child had a prophecy that your boss is gonna have the things that are not supposed to leave this place. So na kibuti so mamola. Oh, ibi leke na kitomi le kibuti sagere. Mama wa bola la ntata di pala o porofiti le wanol. So kire how? Muna di pala o porofiti le wana biang. Wana because oka so porofiti wana. How porofiti wana? So she asked, how was the supposed prophet prophesying a kid? This is... Where were you when the child was being prophesied? So she asked, so why didn't you say, so if you were there witnessing, which makes sense, if you were there witnessing the prophecy, why didn't you say so that these things will be removed? Since you heard, supposedly, this supposed prophecy that was now coming out of nowhere. Okay. So she didn't think of it. So basically, she goes to saying, explaining that she left the bus. She was like, okay, this is a trick to get me back there. I'm not doing that. Or wait a halang, a below reset him more. Now, Mariano, now, Piluaka, I salik, I salio, Kusuoni, like her heart was no longer, she was now starting to see clear that something is wrong. Here. Like a cabon of Dutta Kusuoni, she can see that the things are, are just wow. Piluaka, I saloko, it's his severe. Her heart is yeah, no longer, Lona, that you look at that you like a lava fellow, Lao Yakumuri. That was the last day. And then, Ruile uh, is Honta. Sonta Haya Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Ya Fitako Saturday. Saturday, you have a name, Pohoko Alexander. And then. So she then goes on to explain that there was. She was then prophesied. I wanted you guys to hear that part. So she got called. She still went to the church. Uh, the God of the church said she must be told because you are very disrespectful and disobedient which uh, that is whatever it means that she will die basically so she was threatened with death upon her disobedience and she's been given days to to so utla roba la lena kubo eti. So le kanya na haka re na utla roba la lena kubo eti. If the the leader of this church says that, wa shwa no ma you die. Kanya ni wa shwa ba tiba masiona na le dihuri le kanya na haka re. O roba la lena kubo eti utla toko fala. If that prophecy comes out, you are dead. And then in Porfito la Tamaya. So, yeah, I'll leave the, I'll leave it down in the description below. I thought it was quite an interesting one, but I'll also be doing some of these testimony audios and stuff like that. I thought this one was quite an interesting one and I wanted to make a review of it. There, there is supposedly a prophecy which if you got, you are dead. She got that prophecy and she was being told you are dead because she refused 
to be to be obedient to a supposedly a stone and soil that can't leave the yard and supposedly utarovala kubo it you know some churches are very weird doctrines out there sexuality show with daily christian commentary videos i hope these things kind of wake people up because you can hear the false doctrine right directly in there the way it's completely far off from anything that the bible would put out but people would still defend these things because they feel like you know the church holds some but first the ancestor part that part doesn't doesn't make sense to me maybe it's just me the idea that you know the the ancestor of of the church she has is the one who is dead no i thought ancestors are a a lineage now here the ancestors are something what is this it's it's just strange doctrines the whole idea that she 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 took a decision and said i'm not following this and now she's threatened that she will die these are false doctrines and you can see how they plague themselves in people's lives